अठारह यही कंज्यूमर हेल्पलाइन Nation broadcasting live from the CNN IBN headquarters in New Delhi with Sagar Rika Ghosh. Yes, it's 10 p.m. and time for Face the Nation. Good evening to you. Let's get started. The old Bangalore and Hyderabad airports will not be closed, says Civil Aviation Minister Prafulla Patel. The minister said he was responding to the state governments and not to the protests of the left, which were launched today. Today, the non-cooperation movement, backed by left unions, had a lukewarm response at the airports. Services at airports were maintained, and passengers were not inconvenienced that much, after all. That brings us to our question of the day: Airport stir is a flop. Our trade unions fighting a losing battle. Type QTD, space Y for yes, QTD, space N for no. SMS your answer to five two six two two. And as you know, you can expand in by voting online on that wonderful website called ibnlive.com. And joining us tonight, Dipankar Mukherjee, secretary of the C2 and leader of the CPM. He is joining us from Delhi. We have Ashwini Kakkar, Vice Chairman of Mercury Travels, and right here in Anoida Studio, Sri Ram Khanna, Managing Editor of Consumer Voice. Before we begin, here's a quick look at what else is making the news tonight. There are four more witnesses against Congress MP Jagdish Titler's role in the 1984 anti-Sikh riots in Delhi. The CBI tells the Delhi court it's been leaked to file the report. Police in the dock in Goa. The Anjuna police station is to be probed for its role in the Scarlet Keeling murder case. In Kolkata, Rizwanur Rahman's family say that the body recovered from the railway tracks was not the body of Rizwanur after all. Industrial growth has halved in January. Looks as if India is heading for an economic slowdown. Time now for the top story on Face the Nation. Union Civil Aviation Minister Prafulla Patel has said that the old airports at Bangalore and Hyderabad will not be closed, even after the new airports there are opened. But he said he was responding to the state government's pleas and not to the protesting airport authority workers. Patel announced in Parliament today that as part of its contractual obligations, the government of India is obliged to close down existing airports once the new airports are operational. But the old airports in Hyderabad and Bangalore would not be closed down. Instead, they will only be open for defence, for VIP aircraft, and for general aviation, and not for commercial aircraft. And he also said that the interests of the airports authority of India workers would be protected. On its part, the government of India is obliged to close down all commercial civil aviation operations at the existing airports once the new airports are made operational. The concession agreement specifies the consequences of default by each party. The existing airports at Hyderabad and Bangalore would continue to remain operational for general aviation, defence purposes, national emergency, etc. Further, the interests of the Airport Authority of India employees. at these airports will be fully protected today there were worries about delays and difficulties at airports because of the union's go slow action but except for minor delays it was business as usual at all airports here's a report i'm pleasantly surprised to arrive at delhi airport because it was so clear and so much place to move around and really it has not been a problem finding your baggage or looking after yourself try as they might but it just wouldn't take off the airport employees strike that is while the flights took off on time the protesting were managed to land some passengers into trouble at least at the kolkata airport no trolley nothing to handle in india no porters nobody to help where the luggage is are coming and it was a bit plight for me because i was not ready for this condition please go to the toilet and see the condition of the toilet they are deliberately spilled disinfectant it is in a big mess even though the aai employees used the shutting down of bangalore and hyderabad airports as an excuse for the agitation the twin centers were largely unaffected while 50 air force employees handling ground safety and on ground options ensured hyderabad didn't run into rough weather bangalore managed with flying colors thanks to additional hands at the airport but the aai employees kept up their sound and fury throughout the day we won uh, agitation like this till we are uh, achieve our demands the country's biggest airports at delhi and mumbai already into private hands 
took recourse to a backup from the Air Force and State Police and Fire Services for all essential services, ensuring that the agitation ended not with a bang but with a whimper. With Bureau Inputs in New Delhi, Neha Seth. So nights were delayed today. There were not much inconvenience, but on the other hand, there were no trolleys, the toilets were dirty, and passengers did come into very unsanitary conditions at airports across the country. So let's now get you the initial results of our SMS poll. Airports to flop, are trade unions fighting a losing battle? What are you telling us? 89% are saying yes, trade unions are fighting a losing battle. Only a small majority, a minority of 11 are saying no. On that point, let's get into crossfire. Dipankar Mukherjee, Secretary of the C2, Leader of CPM, the first question has to be to you. Are you once again revealing your contempt for the common travelling public of India? Is it responsible of you? Is it thoughtful of you to inconvenience passengers like this just because your demands are not being met? You are asking me as a CI2 leader or you are asking the employees of these uh, airports, do you think these 25,000 employees of airports, in spite of ESMA and all sorts of retaliatory measures, intimidatory measures, they are just trying to put some problems for the con I mean, put to the consumers? It is the other way around. Tomorrow these air travelers, when they have to pay 750 rupees instead of 200 rupees as airport charges they will thank these employees they are, they are fighting a battle for the air travelers only mm -hmm. let's get a uh, response in from ashwini kakkar vice chairman of mercury travels ashwini kakkar there is some point actually in what the left is saying that why shut down the old airports when traffic is increasing so much why not have the old airports and the new airports and let the old airports and the new airports compete with each other in facilities that will only facilitate the rising traffic well there's two sides of the coin you know at one level what is happening is that the government has already given a contractual commitment that the old airports will be closed down and i think the government will be uh, both morally and ethically uh, bound to live up to their contractual commitment on the other hand the growth in traffic has been phenomenal there's growth between 40 to 5 percent both in hyderabad and bangalore airports mm -hmm. and uh, we really don't want a situation like the one that happened uh, at the delhi flyover when it was started and uh, there was chaos on day one because the traffic had far exceeded expectations now clearly uh, 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 taking into account both these sides of the coin, I think longer term, uh, the minister has probably seen this and, and said that the, uh, the, the old airport will be operational for some other matters because once you shut down an airport completely, you lose all the equipment thing and uh, that goes downhill very quickly, uh, then you can't bring that back into action. Uh -huh. But if it is operational in a minor way, I think at some point in time, uh, there is the possibility of changing the sharing formula and bringing it back into action. Uh, on the other hand, if you look at the customer's plight, I think that is a very, very uh, uh, precarious situation. And I think uh, uh, the airports will get less use than they ought to have been because the customers are going to lose a lot of money. Even if uh, the customer can buy a uh, plain vanilla ticket for this price of 500 rupees, mm -hmm. there is a 15 or 1600 rupees surcharge on that. On top of that, if you add the 800 or so rupees, uh, which is the UDF or the charge for the airport, and on top of that, you add the 1200 rupees, which it's going to cost the customer to reach the city from the airport, then, uh, you know, there's going to be an additional cost of almost about... Uh, Four thousand. So the customer, the customer will be paying more. Customer. Will be paying more in the new airport, or will be paying more to keep the old airport alive? Well, the customer will be paying uh, uh, about three thousand five hundred rupees for a return trip from uh, either Hyderabad or Bangalore. Uh, uh, additionally, over and above what he was paying in the past. Okay, so the customer is actually going to be. 
paying more. Shriram Khanna, but let's come back to the, the point of the uh, left, the, the, the protest by the airport authority workers today. The government has made a contractual obligation. The government is bound by this contractual obligation. Is the left uh, union not showing a certain uh, scorn for a contractual agreement that the government is bound by and also putting customers into terrible distress? You know, we have been watching on television, the India. You walk into any airport, including Hyderabad and Bangalore, and you compare it with the smallest airports in anywhere in Asia, India is put to shame. India looks like a trash can when you compare the airports of Hyderabad and Bangalore with any small country airport in Asia. So if you are talking about rising India, mm -hmm. I'm sure the airport employees are really not concerned because these airports should be closed down. If you want a new and rising India, India needs good airports. It needs good facilities and they're going to cost money. I agree but, with my friend. But, uh, but uh, let me just play devil's advocate here. If BSL, MTNL could get their act together when the private operators started coming in, then why can't the old airports also like BSNL and MTNL get their act together and compete with the new airports? I, I, I would have been very service. happy if the airports authority of India would have persuaded the government of India five years ago to let them modernize the airport but these people these are the very friends of ours of the employees unions who went to strike against the privatization some years ago and the government said no you, your airport authority is not able to modernize and bring these modern systems to India mm -hmm. therefore we have to privatize. Dipankar Mukherjee respond to that, uh, to that point made, made by Shriram Khanna that in the beginning you were opposing privatization you no, were opposing no, no, modernization. Have, no Sagarika, no no Sagarika you are again uh, jumping from one point to the other number one you are factually wrong if you say it is something like a left who is agitating against it is absolutely wrong I have it is not a question of losing battle of the trade union it is a losing battle for the parliamentary democracy in the country the standing committee report is not a report of the left which has been placed in the parliament on 5th and there are all types of MPs from Congress, BJP, from industry. The point etc., is, this is etc., a left-backed union. No, 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 the Airports no. Authority of India is a left-backed. That the, the workers' union is left-backed. And today they have placed the passengers into terrible distress. And what Sri Ram Khanna and Ashwini Kakkar are saying is, that for your demands to be met, why are you no, holding I'm the order? Allow me to speak. I am walking out. Okay. This is not the way. If you do not allow me to speak, I will walk out of these things. You cannot be other one sided. I am putting before you the standing committee's report in the parliament, a unanimous report by the parliamentary committee which has been placed in the parliament of 5th of March. All the party MPs, the country, as a matter of the parliamentary group itself, they have recommended that these two airports should not be closed. It is not a losing battle for the trade unions or the workers. It is a losing battle for the parliamentary system as a, as a whole. Number one. Number two, if the old airports are so bad and shabby, whatever it is, what we are asking for that we let us be allowed to compete with the private operators, which is so good and so global standard. Okay, okay, there's a, there's a point in that. There's a point in that. So called, why the so high the people like you who are votaries of free market cannot allow, are afraid of a competition from airport authority. But that's Hyderabad precisely. That's why precisely. Are there is no contract. You are wrong. There is no contract. It is a concessional agreement. How much more concessions do you want to give to these people? How much money they have paid for this? They have got 4,300 acres of land free in Bangalore. Okay. 5,000 acres of Mr. land. Mr. Dipankar Mukherjee, we're going to have to they take have a short break at this point. When we come back, we will discuss why we can't improve the old airports and instead only insist on privileges for the union. Debate continues when we come back on Face the Nation. Was face the nation and the question we are asking you tonight airport stir is a bit of a flop our trade unions fighting a losing battle you keep voting on that question we'll carry on with that discussion Shriram Khanna you're a point for Dipankar Mukherjee uh, you see the point is that when you have a new facility and you build a, a modern facility which is a world-class facility it's going to cost more money for people to travel I agree with that but eventually transportation systems will come up public transportation systems that and if you have, after having allowed a new party to come in and uh, you have another airport, you are actually going to kill the new airport because the traffic in Bangkok is not large enough for both airports to become viable. Mm -hmm. So if you want 
the, uh, the airport authority to compete, let them build a new airport, say in Delhi, okay, and then compete. But do they want to compete or they want to hold on to what they've been doing for 50 years? Okay, Dipankar Mukherjee, this is the, uh, the, the, the debate we were having earlier, that instead of asking only for the privileges of the airport union, why not compete with this new airport? As Shiram Khanna is saying here, if you keep the old airport alive, you're going to... Asking. No, no, Sagarika, uh, you will have five liners, I have a one liner, it will be very difficult for me to continue this interview. Carry no, on. No, let me be very clear. If you want to have a one liner, Carry on, Mr. Mukherjee. That is why I am saying what I am asking for, what we are asking for. Don't make it trivialized as a trade union issue. It is not a trade union issue. It's a basic issue of competition and level playing field. A new airport has been opened up there. Let it compete with the old airport. Instead of telling airport authorities are shabby and all that, let it be competition. I am asking for a competition. Okay, what Ashwini Kakkar. Ashwini Kakkar, let, that's a fair point. Why replace the monopoly of the Airports Authority of India with the monopoly of GMR? Why not have both? Why not have the Airports Authority of India Airport and the GMR Airport? Sagrika, what I want to say is that, you know, even out of the new airport, we've actually created an old airport because we haven't ballistic planning we haven't completed the uh, road infrastructure and the mass transit infrastructure for trains and other things around those airports. And once the traffic starts flowing on those roads, how uh, difficult is it going to be to actually uh, uh, enlarge those roads or widen those roads or create more infrastructure on top of those roads? How are we going to do this? I mean, how uh, crazy uh, are we to kind of actually plan in this particular manner? So, uh, you know, we No, so what's your point? Are you saying that there should be only handicap. one airport? No, no, I'm saying that this airport is uh, to start with on day one. It's not going to be substantially better than the old airport in any case uh, because we've created those handicaps. We've not planned the airport okay. holistically. There is no access to these airports. Uh, there is no mass transit. There is no roads. Uh, and uh, it's going to be a disaster. So at the moment, even the new private airports are disasters. Is that what you're saying? Look, look, I'd just like to come in here. Yeah. What he's saying applies to the connectivity between the city of Bangalore or Hyderabad and the airport. Mm -hmm. Public transportation systems for mass transportation are not operational. It's a good point. But the agencies doing these things are different and as we do all our business in India there's lack of coordination so the, the case is that in the next six months you should put your act together so concentrate your resources, concentrate the your resources build the system, make it cheaper but if you are saying I want to keep something alive then you're going to make sure that the new infrastructure is not going to develop and the baby will be thrown out with the bath water okay so from from the point of view of the strike I'd like to say the employees are not striking for consumers. They do not have consumer interest in mind. They only have the their personal discomfort in mind. Because they're going to be, they're going to change, they'll have to, they'll have to change their job profile. The airport authority have, will I have to restructure its business. And there is employee resistance in doing that. And Mr. Dipankar exactly. is very, very justified in supporting them okay. because these unions are referring to his trade union. So he has to look after his own people. No, it's not a question of trade union. He is looking after the interest of the investor. Sagarika, my question to you. You know in Bengali they say Ghar Jamai. Here is an airport investor who has not invested more than 400 crores. He has got 500 acres of land free of cost. He has got 500, 400 crores of rupees from the state government of Andhra Pradesh. And he has got 600 crores from the debt. How much money he has put? But Mr. Dipankar Mukherjee, Shiram no, Khanna no, is saying the public is not with you. In addition to that, the public is not with you. That, the consumer is in, not with you. Public is consumer is doing. We are demanding. This but your strike was a flop today. We have demanded a, a we have demanded a referendum from the air travellers in Hyderabad and Bangalore. But your strike today was a flop. There were very few people who were actually participating not, in it. it, it it is not it is not a film show i do not talk about a flop and all if it is a flop show it is a flop show that a parliament tomorrow you can say parliament is a flop fifth may the uh, committee demands okay. the review of the, this airport should not be closed so parliament has not even taken uh, account of that so parliament is a flop that is not i am going to say what i am going trying to say is that they have already got so much of monetary as well as free land this is something a scam this must okay. be reviewed. this must be inquired into okay that's this right but, but, but ashwini kakkar i'm going to get you in i'm i'm going to get 
get you in on, on the last word. We have just 10 seconds. What, do, what would you recommend for this situation? Would you recommend all airports, new airports and old airports or shut down the old airports and just concentrate on the new airports? Well, I think uh, only time will tell uh, what is right because, you know, uh, over a, a very short time, you're going to find the new airport running out of space and out, out of, uh, you know, facilities. But in the meantime, I can tell you that the train fare, which Mr. Lalu Yadav has proposed, is going to be very much more attractive for <laughs> passengers That's going a... to Hyderabad and Bangalore, <laughs> at least for the next one year or so. That's a very good point to end this discussion on. Let's all just start traveling by train because all the airports are going to become very difficult for consumers as well. Dibankar Mukherjee, Ashwini Kakkar, Ishram Khanna, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Stay with us for this tiny break. Still ahead, we'll bring you the final results of our SMS poll.